Hello, I'm Evan Park, and I'll be reading St. Wenceslas from Stories of the Saints, written by Carrie Wallace, illustrated by Nick Thornborough. When Wenceslas was only 13, the castle where he lived in Prague was thrown into an uproar by terrible news from the battlefield. During a fierce fight with the Magyars, Wenceslas' father, the king, had been killed. As the kingdom reeled from his death, Ludwilla, the king's mother, ascended to the throne. She was a Christian who had taught Wenceslas about God from the time he was young, and she only planned to rule until Wenceslas was old enough to be king. But Wenceslas' mother, Jahomira, was a pagan, and as she watched her mother-in-law reign, she seized with envy. So she gave her people orders to assassinate the queen. One night, as Ludmilla was walking through the halls of her own castle, Drahomira's men seized her, wound her own veil around her throat, and strangled her to death. In her place, Drahomira took the throne. She proved to be a wicked queen, especially brutal to the Christians of her kingdom. But she couldn't prevent Wenceslas from becoming king when he became of age, as Wenceslas I. He was a good king who remembered his grandmother's teachings about God and lived by it. Instead of using his power to pile up treasures for himself, every night he went out barefoot to share his riches with widows and orphans, prisoners, and anyone else in trouble. But then a pair of foreign kings marched into Prague with their armies. Bring us tribute, they demanded. We want money and treasures or we'll crush your people. Wenceslas could have fought them, but he cared more about his people than his riches. To save his city from harm, he paid the kings and they left. His people were grateful, but some of his nobles began to whisper about him behind his back. Wenceslas is weak, they said. If he wasn't, he would have fought. One of the nobles who whispered against Wenceslas was his younger brother, Boleslaus the Cruel, who was a pagan, just like their mother. He invited Wenceslas to join him for the feast of Saints Cosmas and Damien. But the morning after the feast, when Wenceslas went to the chapel to pray, his brother met him on the step with a group of knights. Before Wenceslas could step inside, they fell on him with their knives. His brother struck the death blow and they left him dead and bleeding on the steps of the church. But the memory of Wenceslas and his kindness to the poor is still alive today in a beloved Christmas song that is sung around the world. The End <laughs>